And we're joined by Kenesha Charles, an RSS student and one of the people who came up with the idea of what is now coming to fruition behind us. This is your uh, recycling and remanufacturing station called Take Two, am I right? Yes, Take Two is an initiative that's really seeking to take on this global issue of plastic waste. And we're doing that by empowering communities to turn their trash into treasure. Um, so as you can see, our recycling workspace is right here and we can be recycling plastic waste from our school. And you're almost ready to truly fire it up and get going, I understand? Yes, we have our opening tomorrow an evening um, on Tuesday, June 4th. Um, so that's going to be a sort of soft launch for us. Um, but after that, we're going to be able to start production in our workspace. All right. Can you show us inside? Of course. Okay. So this um, is uh, donated by Big Steel Box? Yes, they sponsor this workspace for us. All right. So we'll hop on in. Go ahead. So I can see down there you've, is where you've been sorting out the plastics, right? Yes. So we'd start at this end of our workspace. Um, we would sort our plastic items into their seven types. We would give them a wash, and then we would take them to our shredder here. So I can show quick how it works. We'd put on our safety gear. We would turn the shredder on. I think it's tackling a real felt problem in the world today that this issue of how we deal with waste is only going to get more significant over time uh, and it's, I think it'll be creativity and entrepreneurial ideas like this that solve that in the long term and so we're happy to have played an extremely small role and be behind them and we're just cheering them on from the sidelines. And then the result of that are these flakes that you can see in the bottom here. I'll put them on the table. Okay and then that is the raw materials for making a new product. Exactly. This is the basis of our items. So we would then take our flakes to our oven here. And what we would do is put the flakes into molds, put the molds into our oven to melt the plastic, um, and then we would use a system of clamps to compress the plastic into shape. And the final product are items like this that you can see here. Wow. So you've taken waste and turn it in, into an input for a new product. Exactly. So this all came out of students getting together and saying, hey, we have a problem with, the, with waste, and you brainstormed and saw that this was being done elsewhere and figured, hey, we can do this? Exactly. It really came from that passion that we wanted to do something. Um, and of course, waste is a huge issue. We didn't really know how to, how to go about this. Um, but thankfully, there are other people around the world doing things like this. And so we took the concept and adapted it for our community. And so uh, along the way, I guess a lot of really good presentations. You managed to win contests and bring in donations because there's a little bit of investment here. Yeah, this project actually all in all has been about $43,000 in grants, donations, um, and especially in-kind donations like this workspace from Big Steel Box. So here's the problem. You're graduating this year? Yeah, I'm graduating as well as a lot of our team. Um, so we're really recruiting younger students in our school to continue this project. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be terrible if everything you got started just kind of died on the vine. So now I guess the task is to get other people excited about it and make sure it has a future. Exactly. All right, well, thanks for telling us about it, Kenesha Charles. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.